I have been watching a lot of old Andre the Giant matches recently. <laughs> Nothing like a big man doing big man things. I mean, can you imagine what it would have been like to face him in his prime? The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Delhi, India. Weighing in at 171 pounds. AK-47 Harry Smokey, the specialist. The killer instinct of the MMA cage is part of this competitor's DNA. Word is he was actually banned from competing in one MMA organization, but he's adjusted well to the rules of the WWE ring. Behold the unbelievable presence that is the eighth wonder of the world, Andre the Giant. The true meaning of a larger than life superstar. And his opponent from Grenoble, France, weighing in at 520 pounds, the eighth wonder of the world, Andre the When you talk about unmatched supremacy, you are looking at one of the building blocks of WWE in Andre the Giant. It doesn't matter what generation, what era, there is only one Andre the Giant. You're looking at a well-traveled superstar who has seen a lot in the ring. With experience comes confidence. There's nothing you can throw at this competitor that could phase him in the slightest. He'll be looking to utilize that wisdom in this matchup. But across the ring, you have a man who's the odds-on favorite in any match. Andre the Giant, a competitor who's not only bigger and stronger than almost anyone in the history of WWE, but who has traveled the world proving he's the most extraordinary athlete of all time. You don't get to be the eighth wonder of the world without conquering the globe, and Andre's done just that. Really just laying it in. Andre just continues to mount the offense. Yeah, the Giant is clearly in control. He's lost some of his win now. He planned for this and could still rally. Oh my gosh, terminating knee smash. knee to the face. Oh. What's he looking for here? Andre gets reversed. He isn't allowing that burst of attacks to finish him. And now the pressure's mounting on him. This is where his fortitude will be put to the test. Fist drop! Measured up nicely. The fist has been dropped. That certainly wasn't pretty. Oh! Flogging blow. Ah, oh, what a smash! That is just insulting. Enough already! He turns it around. Determined to keep this matchup going. Sharp jab. 
Series of strikes to the back. Relax handle. Oof. That certainly wasn't pretty. Ooh, what a damaging blow. All the giant answers back. Cruising attack to the stomach. Oh, what a hip toss. The giant connected with a solid shot. For sure. I don't know how he just kicked out, and I'll tell you what, I don't really think he knows either. And there needs to be a refocus now. That was the moment that could have ended things, a moment that's being replayed in their heads right now. Devastating kick. Defends off the attack. Big punch finds its mark. Andre might never have experienced a blow like that one. Just a beat down. The Giants in real danger now. Up and down the hard way. Oh, oh, oh gosh. Cover. One, two, three. What is the move? He's got the victory. This was a truly spectacular win. Mark your calendars, gentlemen. We just witnessed a giant be toppled in front of our very eyes. Any truth to the rumors that Dolph Ziggler is messing with everyone's stuff backstage? Hearing he's doing a bit in his comedy routine about the weird things he's found in Superstar's luggage. Shouldn't a locker room leader step up and get him to knock it off? The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from and Delhi, India. Weighing in at 171 pounds. AK-47 Harry Smokey, the specialist. Obviously, this guy's in amazing condition and can handle a fight. But will the no off-season, 52-week fighting schedule of WWE play a factor? He can hurt you so many ways, but he has large boots to fill given the legacy of MMA fighters in WWE. Ah, the dirtiest of dogs! The show off! And one of the toughest veterans on the entire WWE roster. And his opponent, representing Dirty Dogs from Hollywood, Florida. Weighing in at 218 pounds, Dolph Ziggler. You know, Dolph Ziggler has twice been the sole survivor at Survivor Series. 
Well, sometimes you forget just how much Dolph Ziggler has really accomplished in WWE. But this is a superstar yeah, who has stood it. the test of time. Uh, he's truly a top dog, no doubt about that. This superstar is coming in with a lot of enthusiasm and energy right now. But what's going to happen when the excitement wears off and he comes to realize he's in a fight against someone looking to take his head off? All I can say is we've seen adrenaline take this superstar very far in the past. And for Dolph coming into this one, I think you need to strip away all the talk on social media, all the interviews. They're all just smoke screens. Trust me, Dolph's coming in with sinister thoughts. Yeah, Ziggler has always been a master of diversion, always using out-of-the-ring tactics to distract his opponents from the vicious in-ring wrestling threat that he is. Big splash! Flat out power! Wow! A deadlift military press! Holy moly! Slam! And Ziggler is falling behind here. Dolph's having trouble assessing the situation. Oh, that can squash you. And there's Dolph being out wrestled. Nice counter by Ziggler. Dolph managing to find some of that needed breathing room. Yeah, Ziggler's survival instincts are taking over. Now, trampling the opposition. Just turn that around. He reverses it. Oh, look at this power. This is unholy. Look at that for reps. And he can't defend any offense coming his way. He somehow has to get himself back in. Taking flight. Diving body splash. Superhuman power. Dolph Shaky. The end of the track for him could be near. Yeah. Up and down the hard way. Oh, oh, oh gosh. Makes the cover. Two. Three. And this one is over. What an emphatic victory, guys. No contest. This is what you get when you have complete confidence and control of the situation. I had a crazy dream. I turned on a classic movie after Raw ended, 
And when I fell asleep, my brain was a whirlwind of wicked witches, scarecrows, and tin men fighting all my favorite WWE superstars. Got me thinking about tornado tag team matches. Any chance you'd click your heels and make all my dreams come true? <laughs> They are ready for a fight. The following contest is a tornado tag team match. And at a combined weight of 391 pounds, AK-47 Harry Smokey, the specialist, and our truth his lightning fast striking ability and his strength are what sets him apart from his competitors. Well, his skills are going to be put to the test like never before. WWE is its own animal. time champion around the world there is no one else as glorious i can think of some people and their opponents first representing dirty dogs from toronto ontario canada weighing in at 235 pounds the You can never underestimate Robert Roode's in-ring abilities. Because if you make that mistake, you are in for a rude awakening. See what I did there? I get it. Go for it! You think about Roode, guys, he lives large in and out of the ring. Does Robert Roode ever stop bragging about how talented he is? Listen, when you have that much bravado, you gotta back it up, and Rude does just that. It is undeniable that Robert Rude is a polished competitor. More polished than the top of Saxton's skull. veterans on the entire WWE roster and representing Dirty Dogs from Hollywood Florida weighing in at 218 pounds Dolph Ziggler one of WWE's most accomplished superstars a multi-time world champion multi-time intercontinental champion multi-time tag team champion is there anything Dolph Ziggler can't do Dolph Ziggler has done it all. He has truly proven himself to be one of the best in all of WWE. Right, he's truly a top dog, no doubt about that. Watching this no DQ match, I can't help but think of all the great no disqualification matches we've seen in WWE over the years. No doubt, Michael. Triple H versus Brock Lesnar in 2013. The Rock versus Mankind in 1999. Both classics. But the all-time best has got to be Undertaker versus Shawn Michaels at WrestleMania 26. Yeah, I hate to disagree with you, Corey, but Stone Cold Steve Austin against The Rock at WrestleMania 17 was the greatest no disqualification match of all time. In fact, it might even be the greatest match in WWE history. Let's just agree that all of those matches are great, and I'd argue this one could live up to that same hype, guys. Uh-oh, he's searching for something. Okay, he's re-entering the ring. Ooh, bullseye! Oh, look. 
look at a torch of their opponent. Oh, this isn't going to be good. Oh, man. Look out. Still do a lot. Slip right underneath, and just like that, he's out of the hole. And Dolph got bottled up there. And a drop. Paying it right back with a reversal. Getting back into the ring. He steps foot in the ring again. Working the midsection there. He's getting a little back. From the middle rope. Oh, look at the well-placed elbow right on the mark. And Rude saw it coming. The point of the elbow finds the mark. Flat out power. Wow. A deadlift military press. Oh, no. Simultaneously is knowing...